yourself. If you're hanging with the wrong people, right, you're bound to do something wrong. Right? And you see my, my, my old life, he used to say, if you hang with nine, you hang with nine bad people, you're bound to be the ten. So be careful. You must choose who you hang around with. You must choose who has influences in your life. And even in those situations, if somebody has influence in your life, you have to choose whether you want to do a lot of this stuff or not. Be very careful. We call it discriminating. Be very careful about how you let somebody else run you. You have to allow that to happen. Okay? Now, you have to be careful what you let in your body. I always say this, and some of my kids, I need a little graphic for a second, so please bear with me. This is the time of year where there's a melt, and sometimes you see all sorts of garbage that's melting in the snow. And if I took a hot dog bun, and I got some of that garbage, and I put it in that hot dog bun, but I'm gonna put relish, and I'm gonna put mustard, maybe a little mayonnaise, I like hot sauce. And I told you to eat that. Would you eat it? Would you eat that? No, because it's garbage. It will make you sick. But your mouth is the only way that you can put garbage into your body. Your ears, your eyes. What do you listen to every day? What is it telling you? When you listen to the music that you're in the, or the videos, you watch every day. What are those videos telling you? There's some stuff on the internet that you can't unsee. Some people send me stuff and I say, I don't, don't show me. I don't want to see it because I can't unsee it. It's in my head forever. And I don't want that pollution in my head. Be careful what you allow inside of your body. Yeah. Don't listen to music that's going to pull you down. Don't listen to music that's going to make you violent. Don't listen to music that's going to gonna put your, your history at, at risk. Don't listen to music or watch videos on the internet of things that just aren't good for you. And you'll know when you see them, because a little voice in the back of your head says, no, you don't need to see this. You don't need to see this. This is not good for you. Be careful what you let in. Build who you want to be. Now, that's not always physical. At one point in time, I was an athlete a long time ago. Right? The older I get, the better I was. You can tell us all that. But after me operation, why, two, all sorts of other things, I'm not an athlete anymore. But mentally, I can still build who I want to be. I can allow those things in that make me stronger. I can watch things that make me stronger. I can practice every day those things that make me stronger in spirit and mind. I'll stay away from the things that tear me down. If you're building a house, you don't want to build a house, build one brick and then take two away. That doesn't make sense. So build yourself every day. Don't let somebody else build who you are because if society builds you, you never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get if you let somebody else build you. You have to make sure that you are, as much as you can be, control of your own building. Pine poles. Some of you like to read. Find good things to read that will make you strong. The Japanese call it Kaizen. Kaizen means being better every day, daily improvement. Right? Daily improvement. Find something, a focus that will make you better every day. If you're 1% better in a day every day, in 100 days, you're 100%. You're a new person. So find something that will make you better every day. If it's reading maybe one, one page more of your homework, or doing your homework. If it's watching less television and doing something else. If it's maybe not playing video games all day or all day. If it's maybe getting off of your phone or what you're watching on your phone, maybe it's not good for you, turn and watch something else. One percent, that's not a whole bunch. 1% every day makes a big difference. 
They call it FOMO, which is fear of missing out. Some of you guys are on your phones and you're texting and everything like that because there's a fear of missing out on something. Maybe put that away for a while. Fear of better opportunity for both. Right? Sometimes you're always thinking there's something better somewhere else. Focus on what you have going on now and see if you can get through it. And Emmett, a friend of mine, he really worked on himself to make himself whole. Make yourself better. Right? You don't have to be an athlete to make yourself better. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of athletes that need to work on their minds and their hearts more so than anything else. And here's the last one. That's yoga. Who knows yoga? Anybody know yoga? Who's a nerd like I am that loves Star Wars and stuff like that? Alright, so yoga. You know what yoga said? Yoda said, do or do not. There is no trunk. Yes, he did say that. He said it like this. There is no trunk. So the thing is, as you go through, just keep moving ahead. Just keep trying. Learn something you didn't know before. Try something you didn't know before. Understand that LeBron James, who is a great athlete, Maybe not the GOAT, maybe not the GOAT, but who is a great athlete every day, he tries to get better. You guys in this room, every day you get a little bit better. Just keep going, and before you know it, you'll be doing a lot more than you are right now. You'll be a lot better than you are right now. You'll be a lot more accomplished than you are right now. Those things are reality. It just takes work. Have self-control. Remember the equation. You hang with nine people that aren't good for you. You're bound to be the ten. Have a focus. Try to have a focus. And remember yoga. Do or do not. There is no try. Now, before I walk off the stage, I'm getting old. I not remember. Any of you have anything, any questions? Outside of LeBron James, because I know somebody has a question about LeBron. <laughs> uh, shoot, you have a question.